What's up guys, Seabeck here. So I owe you guys an apology. My last video for Deploy War Assets 101, I misspoke and gave some incorrect information. Uh, I tossed a few back that day, or quite a few back. And uh, yeah, apparently the tongue was thinking faster than the brain. Anyhow, I wanted to make it up to you guys by putting out my advanced war asset tutorial earlier. Hopefully that'll make up for it. I sincerely apologize and huge shout out to Nathan Vela for being the first one to catch and point it out. Okay guys, so round two from the reward screen once you get in looting the battlefield. You're going to R1 for PlayStation or move over to your next match screen. Okay, make sure you roll down to deploy war assets. A little dude right there says, hey man, you still got some war assets to deploy. So we're going to hop in here, we're going to look and we're going to see that right now... I do have territory fighting in here against the Vikings. Okay, I got the uh, the knights right here. All right, but what I can do, and I misspoke in the last video, is I can hit O or back up, and I can scroll over to Dominion. I can come over to Deathmatch, and I can still put any assets in these territories that I'm currently defending here or going over. I don't know why it's not letting me go up and select Dominion right now. That's pissing me off. But either way, so I can come over here right now in deathmatch. Let's see, we're a little low right there. We're low right there. I'm going to go ahead and drop right there. So you do not have to drop your assets in the game mode that you played. You can only drop assets wherever your faction is fighting. Doesn't matter which game mode. Doesn't matter who you're fighting against. Doesn't matter what character you used, whether it's in your faction or not. You are good to go. All right. Enjoy. We out. Peace. Okay guys, so now that I've cleared up the mishap from the last time, went through and showed that it can be done and everything's possible and everybody's back right on the track. Okay, let me get right back into this advanced tutorial for deploying war assets. So the first thing that I really want to point out is that you do not have to win to earn war assets, okay? You don't have to win. Even if you lose, you're going to get some assets. However, with my experiences, the better you do and a win is going to give you more assets to deploy. Now... You can also switch your faction between the different seasons. However, directly from Ubisoft, there is an alleged penalty. They don't say what it is. They don't say how long it is. They don't say any of that nonsense. So if you want to change your faction between seasons, expect a penalty. That's straight from Ubisoft. Uh, I'll see if I can get more information on that one and post an update. So speaking of the seasons, each season consists of five rounds. Each round is two weeks long which makes each season 10 weeks. And at the end of that 10 weeks, there will be faction rewards for whoever won and then second place and third place respectively. Okay, the map is gonna update every six hours to let you know your current progress and what, uh, what territories you and your faction have conquered, okay? Now, when you're looking at the different zones and trying to figure out where you're gonna place your troops and your assets, Okay, the percentage in the zone doesn't really matter as long as you're ahead. So if you have 51% and they have 49%, all right, as long as you maintain that 50% at the end of that round, it's good. You're good to go. You're going to take that territory. I'm sorry, at the end of that six hours, you're going to take that territory. Okay, so as long as you're ahead. So plan your strategy accordingly. Try and see if you can link up with your other brethren and your faction. All right, and then try to spread your territory as, as much as possible. The only other thing, if you do not select your war assets to deploy specifically in a location, the game is going to automatically place them for you and it's going to evenly disperse them all throughout your available zones. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, advanced tutorial. Again, I apologize for the last video and I will see you guys on the battlefield. We out.